for the next two weeks. I don't even want to say it. I'm so... Oh! For the next two weeks, the challenge I'm taking on is quitting coffee. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this challenge. It is a no caffeine challenge. I'm allowed a little bit of green tea. That is not coffee. I love coffee. I love the taste of it. I love the smell of it. I love buying a coffee. I love talking to friends at the coffee shop. It wakes me up. It makes me feel productive. It makes me feel light. I drink coffee in the morning because it's a part of my daily routine. Without coffee, I don't know what my routine will be. To be honest, I'm resisting this challenge because I need it. I haven't given my body a break from coffee in 11 years. All I'm gonna say is wish me luck. So I'm a few hours in and I don't feel good. I'm tired and my brain is really foggy. Today's been a crap day. I'm having my green tea. Where is it? Um, I feel shit. Headaches behind the eyes, back of the neck, blocked up, constipated, can't focus, feel like my head is underwater. Being nappy? I don't nap. I don't even go to bed early. I feel angry. I'm not an angry person. I don't have any energy. And like, to nap for me is so out of character. I just feel really, really, really over, really over feeling like crap. I just rewatched that story. I sound like such a whinger. It's only coffee. People come off drugs. Day three. I feel all right. I still haven't gone to the toilet. I'm still irritable, but the brain fog that I had yesterday, yesterday was horrific. The brain fog is clearing a little bit. I don't feel good, but I don't feel as bad as I did yesterday. This is my third ocean swim and it's been unreal. It wakes me up. I'm not gonna continue doing this forever, um, but it's a good way to wake the body up, especially when I've got no caffeine in the system. All right, I'm feeling better. I literally danced in my apartment, had a cold shower, I'm having some lunch, and I had a green tea. We're coming up Mill House. I guess I've realized that this challenge is so much more mental than I expected. I always knew it was gonna be a mental challenge, um, but I've had a lot of low days, like a lot. And over the last, I'd say two days, I've really made an effort to change my mind around this challenge. Um, I felt like I was a little bit negative over the last few days because I didn't really want to do this challenge knowing I still had work to do and I wanted to be sharp for my work and being on camera. The last few days I've been having decaf and I literally just pretend it's coffee. I don't tell myself it's decaf. I don't tell myself I feel bad. I'm still withdrawing. I still don't feel good, but I'm telling myself that I feel good. You know, your words impact the way you feel, but because I was withdrawing so heavily and because I love it so much as my only vice, I suppose I was a bit bitter about doing the challenge to begin with. And then also because I felt so bad, it was kind of hard to break out of that. But I feel like mentally I'm in a really good place with it um, and I'm pushing through. I've had a few phone calls to mum complaining about how bad I feel and my friends, but you know, it's a part of the ride. And at the end of the day, quitting coffee, it is not really a big deal. But for me, it's been a real challenge. Head to podcast1australia.com.au for the full podcast. Thanks for watching.